Hello, I'm AB, the creator of the AB fountains. The filters we use in the AB fountains can be one of those this four. Either a Stringwell 360 system or our own biofilter. There's a charcoal comes or is placed in a media bag or we use the forever filter system. There's a charcoal, the loose charcoal is in a tempered glass cartridge. Or the newest thing is we use our UV filter. There is a charcoal bag, the same one like here in the biofilter. It's inside. Then you have a UV light for disinfection and then you have the pump. These three filters, with these three filters, the pump is outside. So it's a pump, pumps the water through the cap, through the filter, and goes then through this pipe into the spout. Same here. Here you have the loose charcoal. It's inside. Fold it, put this seal ring in, it prevents the sack from getting catched by the thread of the cap. Put the cap in, close it, the pump is here, connect the pump, connect this to the spout. Let's show you. So here we have the spout and the opening and connect this tube in here. And then this goes into the fountain bowl with the pump attached. Okay always the same principle. So the amount of charcoal in our biofilter is the most of all the three of all the three filter types. It's approximately 50 cubic centimeters to approximately third cup of charcoal. In here is a bit less. You see uh, forever the manufacturer of this cartridge recommends or says half full. We use we use it approximately 80 percent, 90 percent full. So but anyway then it's approximately yeah, a bit less than 50 cubic in in this one and uh, the drink well has two layers of charcoal and it's approximately always half full so you have approximately 30 cubic in in this in uh, charcoal the easiest to handle is the uh, drink well then you just pop out, you see it's in here, so after two, three weeks you pop out the cartridge, use a new one, put it in and you are ready to go. And this one goes into the dumpster. This one is a bit more action. So you have to take the charcoal out. You can dispose the charcoal, the used charcoal, either in your composter or in, use it in your garden, flower bed or wherever. It's composable. So the same, same here. 
So this is all the same types of charcoal in here. So meanwhile I opened the Drinkwell cartridge to show you how it looks inside and how much charcoal it's in. So it's approximately yeah half the amount of this one and approximately a quarter or a third of uh, the amount of this one. So this one, let's put this together. You take the cartridge, slide it in. You have a filter foam. It has a slit. It goes beside the handle. And then screw the cap in. Okay, that's this. This one uses the back, fold it, put UV in, put the pump in, screw the cap on, and you're done. Because you need 12 volt for the UV light, this filter isn't recommended for uh, our battery fountains. Otherwise you need 12 volt battery for the UV light and the UV light draws a bit more power than the pump. Okay, the other filters you can use in our battery battery fountains as well. This one this are not. our four filters. I let this one one in our fountain for our cats. And just to demonstrate or just to test what the filter's ability are, I let the fountain run for six weeks and the water was still nice, fine, clear, with more or less no slime at all. So I don't recommend that the filter run for six weeks, but in case you need it because you are out of the out of out of the house and uh, vacation or too busy and you forget sometimes things happens and then you have a bit of uh, additional time with this one but this filter i use usually in our fountains then for people who doesn't care the bit more effort you have to put in this one with cleaning the bag and dispose the charcoal and wash the bag. This one is for my experience and for my usage it's the best filter we, we offer. People who don't like to deal with the bag can use the forever filter but it costs a bit more because of uh, the glass, tempered glass cartridge. It's a bit easier to handle than the bag, but it's more or less the same. And the amount of charcoal, it's more or less the same. Most charcoal is in here, least charcoal is in here, but still good for two to three weeks depends always depends on how many cats and uh, yeah long hair short hair food next to it playful not playful do they put a lot of stuff are they allowed to go outside do they bring dust inside and 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 so a lot of things to consider our cats uh, are allowed to go outside and so uh, this one is the one I vote for.
Okay, thank you.